Hi guys, it's Valerie from Bargain Hounds. Today I have something different to uh, show you how to do. Today I'm going to show you how to make soy candles. Um, this is just something I started doing about last year, um, just for fun, because I love candles. We always have candles burning in the house. So, um, and plus I like to sell them at craft shows when I do my crafts. So, um, I thought I would do a video and show you guys how easy it is to make uh, soy candles, in case you would like to try it yourself. Uh, the first thing you'll need is I have a double burner here. If you can see it. Just slide this over. I have a double burner here that I um I bought at Walmart. I think it was like thirty some dollars. Um, I have two cans. I'm actually using this. This I bought at a candle supply store. Then I just have this aluminum pan that I picked up at a thrift store. I think I paid like fifty cents or a dollar for it. And these work perfect. I have my soy flakes in here. I just put some in there. The first thing I'm going to do is melt down my soy flakes. Just a little bit more in there. Um, now for the containers, you can use pretty much any glass container um, or even like a, like a metal container. But today what I'm doing is I have these, oops, sorry. Today I have these um, empty jars that I kept. Um, these had artichoke hearts in them. I have a few jars of these. I kept the jars um, because they, I thought they would make great candles. So I am repurposing these. I'm, um, I actually took the labels off of two already. I have them here. They're cleaned out. I have the lids here. So I'm going to be using um, these two to make candles today. I'm actually making them for my mom for Easter. Here's another jar I, I kept. This had capers in it. I thought that would make a nice candle too. So I got a I gotta take the um, the labels off of these two eventually, but today I'm using these two um, empty ones. Now while my wax is melting, I'm gonna prepare my jars. I have a hot glue gun back here, and I need to get my wicks. I use the pre-tabbed wicks. That just means that this metal part is already attached to the bottom. And I'm going to put two in each jar. You want to make sure that when you want, the, when you want it to be taller, a little bit taller than the jar. So I have a straw here. I'm going to slide the wick through the straw and put a dab, just a dab of my hot glue, and kind of center it where I want it. And then do the same for this one. If you have a really wide mouth jar, you'll probably want three three wicks. But this one's not really that wide, so two will be plenty. And push down with the straw. That's why I like the straw because you can push down and make sure it you know stays at the bottom. So you can see there. That's how my two uh, wicks are. You can see the bottom too. And they're not going anywhere. Now I'm going to do this one. Okay, so I'm just going to, to check the temperature with my um, thermometer here. If you can see that. I'm going to set it in there and see what the temperature is. I'm turning my burners off. I don't need it to get any hotter. Okay, this one's at 207. So that has to cool down a little bit before I can add the fragrance in the dye. Okay, while my um, my wax is setting on the stove, cooling off a little bit, um, like I said, it has to get down to 185 degrees before I can put in my fragrance and my um, my color dyes. You don't have to use color dyes. Um, it would just be like a milky kind of color, um, but I have a whole bunch of these color blocks that I bought, so I'm going to use colors. And then I have to decide between uh, what scents I want. Um, these two are for my mom, and I know she likes like the baked goods kind of scents. So I think I'm gonna go with this one's my ultimate favorite, um, the butterscotch pudding. That one smells incredible. And then this one is pecans and pralines. If you can see that. So I think I'm gonna go with these two scents for her two candles. And then for the colors, for the pecans and pralines, I'm gonna put a little bit of a um, a little brown dye in it. And then for the butterscotch pudding, I'm going to use this um, orange 
And it's gonna be like a like an orangish yellow fish color. Okay, so my first um, pan of wax is melted, and I'm going to just pour that into this container. So this one's just under 185 degrees, so this is perfect. Um, this one I'm, I'm going to make the pecans and pralines. So first I'm going to do my dye. A little nice. Oh, I opened that already. It smells so good. So I have a dye chip here. I'm just going to cut up a couple pieces just so I have enough to color it. You can use as much as you want. Depends on how dark or how light you want the candle color to be. I don't want it to be real dark, but I want it to have a little color. See, shave off some shavings there. And then give it a stir. Let's see what I'm doing. You can see how that got quite darker. And it usually doesn't when it when it um, when it forms when it turns solid. It usually is not as dark as it is when you are, you know, when you first put the coloring in it. So it'll lighten up a little bit. So now I'm going to add my scent. This is the pecans and pralines. Now usually for um, like um, one pound of wax, you want like one of these, these are two ounce containers. So I have about two pounds here. So I'm gonna use about, I'm gonna eyeball it in approximately two of these. One, two. That should be good. I usually have my scale down here and I can measure it out exactly, but I left it upstairs. Okay, that one's good. Now I'm going to pour it into my first jar. Looks beautiful. That was a perfect amount too. Okay, now you want to make sure that those um, the wicks stand up straight. So I'm just going to set it up. What you can do is you, if they're long enough, you can wrap them around. Sometimes it doesn't want to do that. That one's good. I just like to keep these plastic butter knives around for that reason. There, I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to put them in the back room where it's a little bit cooler. So let this one cool. Okay, so I just put my first candle out on the back porch to cool off, and I'll let that. I'll keep that out there for a few hours. And I'll block, I'll keep checking on it to make sure it's setting good. This one, my wax is all melted and it's below 185 degrees, and this one is going to be the butterscotch pudding. So I'm going to use a little bit of orange with it. Just going to shave off. You can see how it changes color in there. You can use as much or as little as you want. I just like to have a, a color that represents the scent. See how that turns out. You really don't need a lot. I'm just going to give it a stir. You can see how that turned into that orange color. And now I'm going to put in my scent, my butterscotch pudding. And again, I'm going to use about the equivalent of two of these little um, one ounce containers. I'm just going to eyeball it. One, two. Mmm, that one smells really good. Give it another stir. Make sure all of the 
um, the color chips have melted. Looks good. And now I'm going to um, pour this into my second jar. That's a beautiful color. Perfect for butterscotch pudding. I actually have a little bit left over, so I might make a tart out of that later. And I'm gonna do the same one, same thing with this one with the knives, just to make sure my um, my wicks don't move, because you really need them to stand up straight, or else your candle won't burn evenly. And I'm going to set this one in the back room. Okay, so both my candles are in the, in the back room. And with this little bit of leftover wax, I'm going to make myself a couple tarts. Okay, so it's been a few hours since um, my candles have been setting in the back room. And you can see what they look like. This is the um, butterscotch, or, yeah, butterscotch pudding. And this one is pecans and pralines. You can see how beautiful they came out. I love these jars, actually. So now you can see how the wicks are pretty long. So I'm going to just cut them so they're about an inch above where the candle wax is. And then I also um, got three tarts out of um, out of the wax that I had left over. So you can see how those turned out. They smell so good. So um, I will be giving these to my mom for um, Easter tomorrow. And these are the lids that I'll put on them. These are the lids that came with my um, came with the jars for my artichoke hearts. So um, I might even put a little ribbon around them, a little label. Um, but you can see how they turned out.